So I'm trying to revive my store, my shop, my brand, whatever you want to call it. Whatever do I want to call it. Um, it's not going well. It, it's not, it, it didn't go well at all. I need a game plan. I got my personal website. And I got other channels. I have an Amazon store. Oh, sites, local shopping sites. And um, now I have Etsy pop up, like a pop up. I, I need to focus on one thing or maximum two the three platforms or I'm not gonna do anything about the website it's the thing about websites is that to maintain them the cost the design the things because I'm a new brand people might be wary they might think oh I, I might not buy from this place so these are the stuff the cons and the pros are that oh, creativity, set your own prices, don't need, there's no like middleman, percentage of your profit to them. I, I think this is like in the future. Let's not think about this. Then we have Amazon, high fees, there, you have to do a subscription if you want to be like a pro, be in a pro plan professional plan which gives you more functionality which I don't know how to use storage because my stuff is not moving it's not moving I get charged and I had to do a removal because too much stock that costs a lot for me profit right now so this is a big issue here that's the cons the pros are it's Amazon Lots of people shop at Amazon, a lot of visibility, prime shipping, you don't have to worry about like delivery being quite the appeal to me, unless I find like a very good item, a very big item that the people want to buy, because it seems like it's very seasonal based saturated so the stuff that I want to sell it's already there and I'm not able to provide give the prices that they are selling at then next would be local shopping sites might be a possibility might be something that I could invest my time in the shipping is not a concern it's affordable to me and the buyer i don't have to research and find a service because it's local there is competition and what i'm seeing in local shopping sites are they have lots of items i'm talking like thousands okay Oh, maybe a find hundreds of items. It's a platform where you need to offer more, not just more. I have like three items, which I need to have more items. But how do I get more items? Get and source items, but I need to make sure I don't like overstock, I like, over purchase. I can like try perhaps to get like one or two items and see if people are interested um yeah I, I don't think there is much cons because that's like the most if i want to do well that's the place where people shop i should focus on that to get my items up i need to get items up i don't know writing it out makes it easier to digest and next is etsy i think it's similar to amazon but not really Compared to Amazon, like compared lower cost, you can run ads, it's visible. A lot of people shop on Etsy. Uh, for me, I see Etsy as like a 
platform where you sell DIY stuff even though so now we have like manufacturing stuff like listings I need to create like a lot of listings so similarly to the logo I need to create like a lot of listings if I can see a variation I think that's a maybe for me I'm not very familiar with Etsy but I will rank it above the website so this is might be more might lead to more returns than the website i feel that this is like a stepping stone kind of thing um then lastly it's the pop-up which i just i just did it for fun i <laughs> i'm not marketing i'm not advertising i need to do that pop-up one advantage is that i can like market my socials make it memorable so people would look up my page you have to follow maybe they want to buy something in the future they can go to the good thing about that is that the customers can touch your product they can see it in real life people might buy they see something they're interested in of doing some like stickers and stuff that's like related to the area that at um, but that's like a short term thing something for fun please I feel that this pop up is if I can like design it and make it pop and make it memorable people would remember my shop get curious enough to search my page that's a lead to start the stuff so um, I'm seeing this as like an investment in marketing strategy ranking sites last too much work that's a if I do get big <laughs> I'm far from there I might go there but now I might just go down to a free hosting site post it on like github or some free um, hosting I link that page to my my place they can buy. Um, number four, I want to say, um, it's a tie between Amazon and Etsy. Like this could be interchangeable. I have no sales at Etsy right now, but I do have some sales in Amazon. And number two, I guess, would be the pop up, like the designs. And the uh, first place would be a local social, local shopping site. So all my action items are it's to get better social media, be more consistent. I'm I think I'm just gonna post even though it's like I'm just gonna post and care things because if I overthink nothing gets done. Finding products and I guess I can get like products that people are already selling. Or I don't know. I need to find a niche, but it would be it must be something that I have some interest in. Otherwise, I don't know how to market it, and I want to sell things or. Yeah, showcase things that I like. Different products is a lot. Um, let's go with like 20. Let's shortlist 20 products and work from them. I want to say packaging and delivery packing materials, but I don't know. I'm not even there. But uh, it is something I need to get because when people, if people do buy, they send in an order and I don't have the materials to pack. That's not a good experience. So, conclusion of the day is consistency, post, something, can be nothing, just words, it's better than no post. I just want to get something out there. Finding products and writing it down and get some packing materials. And let's see how we do. The next time we meet on an impulse as I was looking at creators online and they have like their own store I thought hey I could do that <laughs>